This is Heinz Hornung speaking, CEO of Felicitas Customized Engineering. In this little video I will demonstrate Felicitas PCB Sim, our circuit simulator, nicely coupled to the famous Cuts of the Eagle. In order to explain what Felicitas PCB Sim is, I will shortly start its help system and navigate to the overview page, which we have here. Here we see um, a very rough um, schematic of Felicitas PCB SIM. Um, it consists of six, mainly six modules. The core of it is the SPICE simulator, which is based on the famous Barclay SPICE engine. And then we have um, three modules, the transmission line modules, the EBIS uh, models modules, the S-parameter editor module, which are all for signal integrity simulations. And we have the library editor, which um, deals with uh, SPICE simulation models. Um, all of it is um, accessible through the schematic editor, in this case, Cuts of the Eagle. Um, Felicitas PCB Sim is able to simulate almost all electronic circuits, being it um, low frequency, high frequency, low power, high power, amplifiers, filters, um, switched mode power supplies, whatever. In this little um, in this little um, demonstration, I will now simulate a very simple oscillator, which we have here on the left-hand side. This oscillator is from one of uh, the examples which are shipped with Felicitas PCB Sim. Now, in order to simulate it, um, I have two additional GUI elements. Simulate current sheet and simulate all sheets. Um, this is installed with Felicitas PCB SIM. And for the time being, I will use the simulate current sheet, which I will press now. Now what happens is the whole circuit is transferred to Felicitas PCB SIM. And we see here on the right hand side on the simulator, a tree view with all the components. And we see an oscilloscope um, with uh, with the signals we are going to <clears throat> to display, but currently we haven't any. Um, we have here a list of warnings, which I will look at shortly. And the most important warning is the one with the component G1, and PCB Sim says could not determine type of component G1 ignoring component. Well, this is bad news because G1 is the power supply. And so without the power supply, our little oscillator will not work properly. Um, so what I'm going to do is I will tell PCB SIM that um, this is a voltage source. And this can be done very simply by right clicking on it and selecting the context menu entry PCB SIM. A dialog opens, which is already controlled by PCB SIM, and this says this component G1 is excluded from the simulation. Use change type to change its type if you want to have it simulated. I do want, so I press change type. Now a list opens with all the components which are suitable um, for G1 or which can be assigned to G1. For the time being, I will use a voltage source and press the OK button. And another dialog opens which allows me to edit the properties of the voltage source. I want to have a DC voltage source and I want to have it simulated with 9 volts. And I press OK. Uh, by the way, on the right hand side we see a short oscillogram of this voltage source. Of course it's a DC voltage source so no surprises here. Okay. So if I transfer the schematic again we see that G1 has now appeared and now I can simulate it by just pressing the start simulation button which I've done. The simulation has already been finished but I don't see anything because I did not select any signals for being displayed. This can be very simply done by expanding any um, of the nodes which are representing the components and beneath the components we have all the signals which are connected to this component. For example, the pin collector, if I press now the space button, I see on the right hand side the signal um, on the collector. Well, it's more or less a rectangle. Um, 
not very nicely, but it is okay. I can measure here the time, which is, for example, 2.2 milliseconds. Now, it is, of course, a bit cumbersome if I, um, after each simulation, if I select the nets um, in the tree view to, um, for being displayed. So what we have done is we have added um, a little simulation library, which, for example, contains a component called probe V for voltage, which I have added here now. And this component allows me to mark any net for being displayed immediately in the simulation. Again, if I do a right mouse click on it, choosing PCB sim, now a different dialog opens which allows me to select the color. In this case, I will do it white and I make it a bit wider so it is nicely recognizable. And I simulate again by simulate current sheet and press the simulate button. And now we see a very nice white uh, signal. So um, this concludes our little demonstration. I just wanted to show how simple it is to simulate a um, schematic from Cuts of the Eagle. More or less the <laughs> two things you have to remember. One button simulate current sheet and the other one being the um, context menu entry PCB. Sim. Thanks for watching and bye for now.